Hey guys, it's CS Fan 001 here for the second half of the finale to Barnyard 100%. Last time we finished off the game, and we also planted a milkweed and went into the junkyard and all that good stuff. This time we will finish off the barn. So, the money cheat that I was talking about, you hold down C and Z at the same time, and then on the directional pad, on the directional pad, hit down, left, 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 up, left. Oh, hold on a second, I think you have to do it, uh... Down, left, 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 up, left. Huh, where is it? Where do you have to do this at? Hold down C and Z. Oh, oops, I was doing the wrong, I was doing the wrong combination, guys. Sorry about that. C, Z, you hit down, down, left, 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 up, left. There we go. Oops. I was doing the, I was leaving out a left. All right, guys, so with that, we now, you can do that sheet whenever you want, and it fills up your gopher bucks to the maximum amount. And we still have two gold rush tokens to spend at some point or another, even though I'm not gonna be spending those because there's really no purpose now that the game's done. So, what we're gonna do now is go buy the last stuff we can buy. And the barn will be 100% complete. We will also go plant the last milkweed, meaning the only thing left to do in the game will be making the recipes, and that will be done in the extras video. All right, let's head on up to Gopher Hill. We're also gonna buy the bikes because I just wanna show those off. I mean, the blue bike and the pink bike are basically just slight improvements over the main bike. There's really no difference. It just gives you more stamina, as you'll see. I'm just gonna buy the best bike though because there's no point of buying the other ones. All right, we're going to buy the Barnyard Deluxe Bike, now that we're done with the game. Uh, you can also buy, as you can see, you can buy items here as well, personal items. You can buy up to 20, and I'm going to go ahead and buy these for the recipe section. So yeah, you can buy 20 of each. Now, it's kind of annoying though, because they don't sell the uh, really, they don't sell like the common items. They don't sell the like vegetables or fruits or anything, unfortunately. I wish they did because that would make it just a bit easier instead of having to run around and collect stuff. But yeah, we can buy all sorts of items here. You're gonna need a lot of each. You know, like you're gonna need probably at least 20 of each just for, to make sure you have enough for all the recipes. Honey's obviously, as you can see, very, very expensive. You won't need 20 of everything, I don't think, but you might need more than 20 of a lot of things. And you can buy the other bikes to replace the one that you currently have, but that would be kind of silly to do. Ah, uh, party gear. We have the neon dance floor, guys. That is everything available to us. And we now have the best bike as well, which is going to make it this last bit of travel a bit easier, even though it really doesn't even matter. So it looks different, it's a nicer looking bike. It really doesn't like have any speed improvements, but as you can see here, I'm staminaing and it gives you quite a bit more stamina. I think it about triples your stamina, actually. It doubles or triples it, it gives you quite a bit more, so. It's not really all that worth it, though. You really don't need it to like complete the game or do much in the game, so it's really just not that big a deal, in my opinion. So now we're gonna check out the barn, we're gonna tour our completed barn, and then we're gonna go plant the last milkweed. Yeah, it is, the barn is 100% complete. The horses love the neon dance floor. Milkweed, nice. Thought you were gonna say something special because that's 100% completion. Yes, you are, that's what I thought. It's my main cow, you are the party master. You know it, Rude, this place is decked out 100%. Our work here is done. Come on, stage with me, the people want some love. Or, on well, us, I don't know. For the Super Cow, ZPTV. Yay! So, that was short cutscene. Uh, what are we getting now? Oh, wow, we get the credits again. That's kind of funny, actually. Uh, we're going to save. We don't need to watch those cutscenes again. We've already seen them once. Uh, you saved the farm. Come back and visit us whenever you like. Load your game to continue playing. Because we are not quite done yet. We still need to tour the barn. 
and we need to plant the last milkweed, so I don't know why they make us basically cut like that or do that. So let's head down to our file again and load it back up and tour our 100% completed barn and then go plant milkweed. Yay, milkweed. Weed. All right. Except for raccoons and coyotes. So, how does our barn look now that it is 100% complete? Alright, we got lots of tables with flower vases. Everyone having what looks like certain milkshake type things. Like I said, flower vases. We have the mocktail bar for the extras video. A dumb waiter to send stuff up to the upper floor. We have the entire decked out bar area including the uh, vacation souvenir thing, but all this stuff is back here. I see cow milk, I think like goat milk and a few other things are there. We have five posters on the wall over here. I think we have more somewhere else. We have that neon thing. We have the jukebox up here. We have a salt lake machine. Another painting over here and another nice table over here for uh, Daisy and Bessie. Have you seen Otis? No, I have not seen Otis. Uh, but more importantly, let's dance. Once you get the nicer dance floor, you can actually dance. So that's just kind of a cool little extra thing. Can't get up on stage or anything, but it all looks very nice. Uh, over here is where all the food that you make will be placed. I think there's one, I don't remember where the mocktails go. I guess we'll figure that out later on. Uh, let's head upstairs. And when we get upstairs, we find, looks like three or four booths up here, so Nicer, it's a little bit away from the commotion if you wanted a slightly more private conversation. There's a few booths over there, but it's basically identical otherwise, so I don't really see a purpose of going over there for that. But, because it's basically the same thing, but it's still, it all looks really cool once this place is completely finished. And then of course we head downstairs to the game room. We have poker, poker playing chickens or roosters or something here. We've got the Whack-A-Rat game where Freddy likes to fall into it. Uh, we've got barnyard darts on the spinning dartboard, got a nice milk bar, got a pool table, a bucking human, a uh, foosball, whatever you want to call it. We've got two dartboards, we've got pinball machines. This place just looks very nice now that it's completely finished. Yep, guys, I think we did well. Plus, we have party lights, we have ceiling fans, and we have banners hanging up and all that good stuff. So everything here in the barn has finally been completed, and that is kind of awesome because that is basically the 100%. I mean, it'll look slightly more complete once we make all the recipes, but like I said, that's going to be for the extras video because that really isn't, like, all that important in my opinion. Where's my bike? Got moved over here. All right, so like I said, we have one more milkweed that we have to plant. It's the last one. And it's going to be over at the old mill. Like I said, this one is completely unnecessary. Actually, no, the other way is going to be faster. Yeah, in all honesty, this one is completely unnecessary. You do not need it to get to anything. I mean, there is good stuff in the old mill, but what you do get in the old mill, you can get other ways. You can just climb up the side. But as you can see, yeah, your stamina like doubles or maybe even triples, so the bike certainly doesn't hurt, but I mean, you gotta buy all the stuff for the barn, and that's kind of more important than buying the bikes because you don't need the bikes. Even if it is pretty helpful, you just don't need it. Might make it go just slightly faster for you, but that's about it, so I would just say don't waste your money on it unless you have like a major surplus somehow and you've been like messing around or something in the game. But let's go ahead and plant this last milkweed anyway. Oh, we're going to get a decent length video, actually. That's good. And you'll still get texts occasionally. We still have two gold rush tokens, but you'll still get texts occasionally from uh, Joey telling you to, you know, bring him something to pay double for, that he'll pay double for if you sell it. So he'll still do that occasionally, but like every couple nights or so, but... In all honesty, like I said, it's not really all that worth it most of the time unless you just have a major surplus of stuff somehow. You've been, like, saving up eggs or something, I don't know. So eggs are... Eggs would be a good thing to sell because they're not necessarily difficult to get even though you can only get one a day. 
And yeah, you get on in here, like I said, we've already been in here before. There's nothing really special about it. I mean, there is, sometimes that, that might give you a gold rush token as well, but I mean, there's a recipe rock in here, but that's really about it for actually helpful stuff in here. So really no real purpose of using that milkweed. It's just a total waste. Uh, we're just going to spend a gold rush token here and see where it goes because we have two to spare and we're never going to need them for anything else. But most of them only give you like 50, so really, I just think that other one's easier because that one is the one I've always used. I think that one's just a little bit easier to use. This one may actually give you more, though. This one may actually give you 100. Okay, if it does, though... Wow, this one actually gives you more than I thought. Uh, huh. This one actually... Well, this one, though, you have to make the jump into the trough up there or the thing down to the water wheel, so that definitely adds to the challenge, but it looks like you can get maybe 150 out of this one. You could get more than... That's got, like, 175. Dang, if you could actually make that jump... Maybe I'll start using this one instead if I ever play through this game again because that might actually be kind of worth it. All right, but guys, that is it now. We have done everything we need to do in the game uh, except for making the recipes. So I will meet you guys back here for an extras video where I'll be making all the recipes. I just got to collect the ingredients first. So see you guys then and hope you guys enjoyed the LP.